Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Claire. It's nice to meet you. you. Found me from another social media. Let me know which one in the comments. And if you are brand new, found me on YouTube, be sure to check out my other socials below. We got a lot to unpack today on how I started my small business and maybe some of these tips could work for you. So we're just gonna go right into the intro. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. This is like the third time I have actually made this video. I just kept getting derailed, kind of. Like, I just chat a lot. I talk, I'm a chatterbox. Please stop talking. But not today. I made notes, okay? I am not going to get scatterbrained today and go off the rails. Mm. It's not happening, because I got notes. We start the video I do want to say this is just what worked for me in my circumstances your circumstances might be different it's very still diverse but for me this is what worked so this is what I like to call the basic how to get started if you have a very limited amount of funds you have a very limited amount of time say you work full-time this is how like the base starting for a press on business for me went. To start a press on business but you don't have a lot of money and you don't have like any polishes. You're gonna wanna buy first and foremost a top coat that you really, really like. I personally like the Beatles um, top coat and McCart. You can get them on Amazon. And they also come with a base coat. You have to have a base coat. A lot of people think it's a press on. You don't need the base coat because why? It's plastic nail. You need a base coat. You do. Otherwise, your design after you're done is just gonna peel right off and it's gonna irritate your soul. What the scallop? <laughs> okay. Once you have your base coat, you're also gonna want your basic staple polishes that I use pretty much more than any other color, which is white, black, red, blue and what's the other one? Oh, and yellow yellow there it is ha. you want to get these staple colors because even if you don't have any more funds like you just have these five color polishes you can make pretty much any color you need from them imagination it also gives you different design options because you can make a french tip with those colors you can make a black and white design you can do a ton of different options with those colors and designs and it gives you more variety without breaking the bank because you don't have to buy all these different colors but i want it now once you get more stable in where you are go well don't go ham <laughs> but you can start to build your collection slowly editing claire here um i forgot to put something in the video so i'm gonna put it in right now while i'm editing you actually need a gel lamp for your nails you can get them on amazon um, mine i'm using right now costs like 25 dollars i'll put it in the description box along with everything else but that was it tips are a little bit more difficult for people because there's a lot of if you if you can't afford a lot of tips it kind of limits your variety so in order to combat that uh just get long square or extra long square um i i just say long square because extra long tends to cost a little more and then you don't get as many nails at the same time so it's just more frugal to get long square maybe even medium square if you can't find a long square long square just gives you more options if that makes sense take some practice too so just be prepared for that but i after lots of practice can turn a long square into a long coffin a long almond medium coffin medium almond short square short almond like there's just so many other options if you go with the square it's kind of like a blank canvas of the nail shapes there's lots of options wow that's great if you you know want just long coffin that kind of boxes you in you could make a uh, an almond out of that but eh, it's just you kind of cut out the square then unless you're just gonna do short square it's just better to get the long or extra long square and once you get more established or you feel like you can splurge on different shapes where you don't have to do the filing yourself then definitely I do that instead <laughs> we are already on number three y'all are we doing good <laughs> Look at us, look at us. The next thing you're gonna wanna invest in is nail art brushes. Now, I, I know there's like lots of different brands and me, honestly, I haven't found my perfect brand yet. I destroy them. <laughs> so 
so I I really don't break the bank on nail art brushes because I, I destroy them. You can find some good ones on Amazon. That's where I get all of my nail art brushes. Once you get your nail art brushes and you're using them, don't clean them with acetone because acetone is a very, very rough, rough chemical on them. Um, and alcohol cleans them just the same. And it also makes them last a little longer. Limit your use on acetone. By the way, you can get alcohol in bulk on Amazon too. That's what I do. Um, you wanna get at least 70, at least 70% alcohol. If you can find like 80 to 100, it's better, but 70 works. Like two shots of vodka. Number four, find bulk um, buffer blocks and files. I personally, unless it's on an actual client, I keep my files for at least until they die. <laughs> I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. <laughs> That's just because it's not going on an actual person. Uh, there's really no need to replace it. If it was actually going on someone over and over and then going on someone else, that's gross. Disgusting. Don't do that. So if you're gonna use your file just for nails, like your nails you're doing at home that are fake and going out to clients, that's different. You can use it over and over. But if it's for somebody else, don't do it. Don't do it. Again, you can get those in bulk on Amazon. Everything in this video that I'm talking about, you can get on Amazon. It makes it really easy. You don't have to go anywhere. If you don't have time to go shopping, Amazon is like where I go. Number six is nail stands. Now this is kind of like an acquired taste. Some people like a solid nail stand where you cannot take the actual nail holder off the base. Personally, I like these. These are my favorite because I can take them off the base. And these are thick. I'm gonna put these in the link below because I really do like these. Um, but they're really thick. They're made out of metal. There's some that are made out of plastic. I hate those because I have like the grip on them. I choke hold them. Oh, shit. <laughs> And I literally have snapped the plastic ones, so I always try to find the metal ones, which are harder to find for some reason. That's why I'm gonna link these below, because these are great. I don't have any with me right now, but there's another stand. I'll find a picture and put it here. Um, the stand doesn't come off, or the holder, the nail part that holds the nail doesn't come off of the stand. And I can't stand that because I like to move around my whole entire nail to make sure I get everything covered, my designs all the way, but that's just a me thing. I know some people like it, some people don't. I personally don't, but if you like it, try it out. They're usually pretty cheap, like this one. This one costs $10. They're probably about the same. Normally, also, whatever holder you get is gonna come with something to like stick the nail onto the holder. Um, the one I just showed you came with these. Personally, it's putty, and you you just stick this putty like a square. It comes with these little squares. Do you see that? Yeah, a little square of that, and you just stick it on here. Personally, I don't like putty. I I don't. I uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't like to use it. Um, instead, I use these. I just take one off, and here I actually have one set up. I take it off, you can't even see it, but there's like, there. one of these is out of here. <laughs> one of these is out of here, and once it is dirty or it's no longer sticky, I just rip it off and put a new one on. I think it just looks cleaner, in my personal opinion, and putty is, I just don't like putty. <laughs> you might like putty, I don't like putty. That's just my opinion. Uh, it's a no for me, dog. We are almost done, guys. I swear we're almost done. It seems like a lot, but if I'm being honest, you could probably start with these instructions, your press-on business, for less than $300. So it really, like, maybe even $250. Because I'm telling you, like, this is, like, how I started, because I'm a very frugal person. <laughs> Listen, you cross just cheapskate. At being home with my boys, I, I just have to do something. Like, I, obviously, my boys are a lot of work, but I needed something for myself, too. I didn't want to get lost in the sauce, <laughs> okay? Because I would go crazy. Oh, Let's move on. Once you have all the supplies that I just said, or you have your supplies that you think you need to start, um, you need to start making content, making nails. So I'm gonna guess you have a camera. You need to record 
everything. You need to record yourself making these nails. You need to record yourself putting them in their little boxes once you're done or their paper, wherever you're gonna put and display your nails. Put, make, make, make content, like everything is content. Okay, I wanna sell like, I knew I was born famous, a superstar. <laughs> So you need to record. It's true, you do. You need to record everything. <laughs> you do. That's not saying like, you know, a day in your life vlog or whatever. No, I mean, whatever you want to focus on is what you need to record. So if you want to focus on your small business and making nails, you need to record as much as you can. And once you have gotten at least seven days worth of content, taking pictures of everything, taking video of you making the nails, taking video of the nails, taking pictures of the nails, you're gonna wanna start making your social medias. <laughs> now this might be the more stressful thing to do for some people, because I know a lot of people don't like to put themselves out there, but if you don't put yourself out there, How's anybody gonna know that you sell stuff, you know? And that, of course, doesn't mean you have to do what I do. You don't even have to put your face in it if you really don't want to. Is it a perk? Yeah, does the algorithm like it? Of course, but you don't have to do it. There's plenty of people that don't do it that actually do have small businesses and it works for them. Do you, boo-boo. Do you, boo-boo. You know why? Cause I'ma do me. Next part, after you've made all this content and you've taken your pictures, you have to post at least once a day. So hopefully with seven different sets, you have a lot of content. That leads into you need to be consistent. You have to consistently post every day. Otherwise the algorithm is gonna get angry. <laughs> We've known each other many years, but this is the first time you ever came to me for counsel or for help. Use tons of hashtags that have something to do with your business or whatever you're posting. So if you're posting about press-ons like this, Basically, this whole video is about put hashtag press on, hashtag press on nails. And make sure to also put your own hashtag for your name. I just like to do that personally. I don't think it's a requirement, but I like to put like hashtag, my business is called Claire's Little Boutique, hashtag, and that's my hashtag. Just good brand marketing, because if you're gonna start a small business, you're basically going to start your brand. So you do, I don't know, I, I just like to promote my brand, so I feel like everybody should promote their brand if they want their brand to get out there. That's just me though. That's just me. Okay, so after that, this is the last bullet point I have. We made it, y'all. Thank God. The last bullet point I have is to be patient. Just be patient. At first, it might look like it's not going anywhere. It's, you're posting all this content you, or you got one follower. Why am I not getting a thousand followers? It doesn't happen like that all the time. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you. I got very lucky. I got very lucky on TikTok, you know? Me and TikTok, be, me and Miss TT be beefing, but Miss TT had my back in the beginning. She really did. I love you! I love you too! I love also gonna want to have that consistency showing in your social platforms wherever you are because once these people see oh this is a great you know video I like their video they're gonna click on your page and if you only got one video or you have a very long lag in videos you know like that just doesn't look good for you that was it that was all of my tips to get started on a press on business. I am a thousand percent sure that I had to miss something here. So if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. I am gonna make a video of when I first started, how I started shipping too, once you get to that point. Because like I said, I was frugal. So buying all the shipping packaging, I was like, ugh. No, God! <laughs> because I was like, oh, what if I don't make enough sales? What if it doesn't happen right away and I have all these boxes and all this packaging stuff and it's just sitting there? What if I don't, What you know, there's a lot of what ifs when you buy all these boxes and you're just starting out and it can be scary. So I'm gonna make a video about that later. We're not done with like this, how to get started, how to get started series. Does that sound good? Yeah. I think that's it guys, we did it, we made it to the end. Uh, thank you for sticking along with me um, and thank you for subscribing. Oh, you didn't? Oh. Look, <laughs> it 
if you feel like subscribing, please subscribing. I really appreciate it. It really helps the algorithm out. Uh, if you subscribe and comment, can you, can you talk? Talk to me. I like to kiki with everybody. I, I be talking all the time in my other socials. I don't know if you follow me anywhere else, but we be talking. Okay, I have some, I've made some friends. So, yeah. That's it for me today, guys. Bye.